If you like modern crime comics written from Ed Brubaker or Greg Rucka, or you like classic line artwork from the likes of an Alex Toth, David Mazzucchelli, Hugo Pratt, Milt Kniff, then stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Hello and welcome to Taylor Talks Comics. I'm Taylor and I've got one book to show off for you today. It is the farewell song of Marcel Labrum by Attilio Michaeluzzi. Um, this was sent out to me by Tucker Stone of Fanographics, so appreciative, appreciative of getting this review copy. But this is Fanographics' effort to reprint and repub and publish Attilio Michaeluzzi's um, work in English for the first time in the 21st century. Attilio is an Italian cartoonist. Uh, I think his career stretched from like 1974 to 1990, so not not the longest career in cartooning, but the work that he has done, just judging from what I've read from this and then seeing some other stuff online of his other works, this is really going to be a fantastic line. If you're familiar with Fanographics, other lines, they've done similar things for um, Alberto Brescia and uh, Jacques Tardy. Some of these foreign cartoonists, European cartoonists, uh, that they want to reprint this stuff in English for the first time. Um, or just for, again, for a modern audience in a new package. And I really appreciate that. One thing I talk about on my channel all the time is preserving comic book history. And when I see works like this, I've never heard of Attilio Michaeluzzi before reading this, um, before seeing this book was coming out on my catalog video I did for Fanographics. Um, I didn't even, I never heard of this cartoonist. But now seeing how amazing and brilliant his line work is, and don't worry, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you this amazing book. Uh, I'm blown away, and it really just makes me think how many more comics are out there that were originally printed in another language besides English that I don't know about or I've never heard of. And that kind of exploration of comics is always part of the intrigue and, and fun of the collecting hobby for me is finding this. So I'm, I'm excited that Fangraphics is reprinting all of his works in English. I was blown away by this one and I can't wait for more. So let's flip the camera around and take a look at this awesome, awesome book. Okay, so just taking a great look at this cover. This whole comic is in black and white. Um, I thought it was a really interesting cover choice to go with this like orange, bright orange um, cover for a comic book that's kind of a noir-ish crime spy thriller I go with this bright orange but I actually kind of love it um, the Jack Tardy collection is mostly like black spines with white font on them so not that it's boring or anything but just it was an interesting choice that I really enjoyed and these panels are all taken from the book on the inside um, so this is a really interesting way to present it the uh, cut the title lettering here you can see is it's a gloss, but it's also like embossed in there as well. I don't know if you can make that out or not, but it has like a nice feel to it. And then the finish on the rest of the cover is kind of a matte. And this is embossed as well, or debossed, I guess. Is that what it's called when it's, I guess this would be embossed and debossed. I don't know. I'm not an expert on those kinds of things, but we have the spine here with the great fan graphics logo um, designed by Jacob Covey. And this is the title editing, which is all spot gloss as well. And on the back, um, the text on here is also kind of a spot gloss. So this book was designed by, I want to give credit to the designer, Si Huang, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, he's a book designer that, or they are a book designer, um, that work on a lot of Fanographics books. So right away we get the title page here, and then we flip open we get some um, grade artwork there of uh, Attilio. And then we get right into it, the title up here. And you can see this was done in 1980. Uh, so this is some of his, I guess, middle of his career works. Like I said, I think, it, I'm pretty sure his career, career stretches, which I might say on the biography back here, from 1974 to 1990. He's born in 1930. He passed away in 1990. I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere his career last uh, was like that short 16-year period. But I digress. Um, as you can see, as I'm flipping through these pages, this is a brilliant line work. Like, this really is reminiscent of, like, a uh, an Alex Toth, Hugo Pratt, Mil Kniff. Even see a little bit of, like, Jaime Hernandez, or maybe even more accurately, his the older brother Mario Hernandez, um, Gilbert and Jaime's older brother. Some of his, like, Love and Rocket stories that he would do. 
Um, and I, I can't say that if any of those are even inspirations of Attilio. There's not a lot of um, in-depth essays, at least in English, online or anything to find out about him as a cartoonist, which I hope there's more. Sometimes Fanographics, uh, in some of their collections, will do these really kind of great essays and stuff. So it'd be great if one of these collections included kind of an essay about him with more in-depth. But <clears throat> this is a, like I said, it's a spy thriller. You get some uh, crime noir. It's political intrigue. It all takes place during World War II. And Marcel Broom is a renegade journalist. And he's kind of uh, the best kind of anti-hero where he's he finds himself above the law, but he gets mixed in with the law. <laughs> And this is all taking place in 1940, um, just as the Nazi Germany army is starting to take over parts of Europe. Uh, and Marcelo Broom gets mixed in with that. And then you have this uh, character here who's an American woman, um, who's like a rich kind of socialite of America. And at first, Mar Marcelo Broom is just taken by her in her beauty and wants to know more about her. But then he finds out that she's actually trying to um, rescue a Jewish man and Marcelo Brim then gets caught up in that as well. And some of the, so the great cartooning by Attilio too, like just all the different character designs is what reminds me of Toth. Like not the line work necessarily. I guess some of the faces might look a little Tothish, but just like the fact that Alex Toth, when he worked in black and white, could make every character look distinct. And that's what you get here with, um, Attilio, like none of the characters you get mixed up with at all. And then it works great when there's like silhouettes and shadows on the characters. You still recognize who they are. And um, that's like one of the great cartooning tricks they always talk about is like you have a great character design and great character if you can put them in a silhouette and still recognize them. Like you definitely still recognize Marcella Broom. Um, but yeah, this is taking place in the Middle East as well. So all these great different types of characters all playing part in here. Here's the panel that's on the cover right there, and it's blown up for that image. Um, but there's twists and turns throughout the plot. I will say I'm not a World War II expert. Um, I, my view of World War II is, unfortunately, I, I find when I'm reading these comics from um, cartoonists from other countries, that it's unfortunately filtered through the the view of an American who I've only ever learned about World War II through American eyes uh, and that perspective. So when I'm reading these comics, um, any comics really about historical uh, events, so like even like Jacques Tardy's war comics and stuff, I, I felt similar things. It's interesting to see the perspective of somebody from another country and how they're viewing these certain events because as an American, you're like, it's like almost you have this 2D look into the things or this black and white look into things and there's a lot more depth to it and Marcelo Broom is a great character to kind of guide you through that uh, process of of learning the other depths of it because he is a layered character he's not just a black and white character there's a great motorcycle um, runaway scene that you see on the cover here too but he is a reading journalist and he's always getting mixed up with things he Reminds me a lot of like a James Bond type character to give him like the most, the easiest, maybe lazy, laziest comparison, but to where he, um, he'll fall in love with, you know, a woman and get mixed up in these fist fights and these circumstances where you feel like he's like stuck and caught, captured. He's not gonna be able to get him out, get out of it. And then he finds his way out through being the smartest guy in the room, um, kind of thing. So if that all appeals to you, I highly recommend this. And uh, if this, if these European comics or this great artwork that I'm showing off intrigue you at all, I'd say buy this. It comes out this week. Um, support Fanographics' efforts to reprint and publish these things so that there is a market for um, these European cartoonists and these comics that weren't originally published in English so we can get more of them. Um but yeah, this definitely is amazing. Also, I do like the, uh, there is like a cartoon language here or a way of like panel layouts and stuff that, I'm trying to find an example, um, that Atelier has that once you, once you pick up on it, it's like easy to follow, but I'm trying to find an example. 
because the captions and stuff are just taken away from the panels. Oh, here's, I guess here's an example. So you have this panel, then you read this caption, and then you read this caption, this panel, this caption, this panel. So it's very easy. Like there's, that's probably not the best example, but the the layouts even kind of reminded me of like early Jaime Hernandez and Love and Rockets um, with the captions and how they're squared away and stuff. But just an incredible drawing of cars and car chases. Like I talk about that in some of my videos too, about how hard cars are to draw. Um, and he does it just exquisitely. And like the whole thing is just drenched in like drama and romance and political intrigue. Like I can't stress that enough. Uh, but really, really great comics. And one that I hope this video or hope more people put their eyes on because I think this deserves to be given more love and appreciation in um, the English markets. So yeah, that's Marcelo Broom, the farewell song of Marcelo Broom. There are two st two stories within this book of Marcel. I don't know what the next release for Atelier uh, Michael Luzzi is from Fanographics, uh, but I do hope it comes soon because I was really kind of blown away by this and I hope to uh, find out more. So yeah, that's Taylor Talks Comics. This is my view video for today. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate that. I'm on my road to 3,000 subscribers and I need your help with that. Other ways you can help is by giving the video a thumbs up and comment commenting down below. That kind of engagement helps YouTube realize that people enjoy this content and maybe they'll put it in front of the eyes, the eyeballs of people that don't know this channel exists. All great ways to help in the sports channel and I appreciate them all. I do have a Discord um, in my in the comments down or in the description down below where you can go and join us to talk comics there. It's fun, fun time. And uh, thank you guys and keep reading and buying comics.